Maria's the love of my life. We've been together 10 years on and off. Like most relationships, we've had our fair share of ups and downs, but somehow always end up back together. The situation's toxic. It's at a breaking point, and I need him to wake up and actually understand that. Marie's a boss. She's sexy, smart, ambitious, driven. Like, she's literally the perfect person for me. I'm just here to know if we're ready to go to the next level. I need to get married. I start a family. That would be the next level. Why are you here now? Um, our relationship is literally like hanging by the thread. And we've been together for 10 years on and off. We got together when I was 17, now I'm 27. And obviously growing up, you know, it was, it was puppy love. And now I've gotten to a point where I've realised that me and T may not actually be as compatible as I thought because we think different on so many things. Despite the fact that there's love and everything, there's actually big problems in this relationship that I need to have answers from. In those times, T, that you were not together, what happened in your life? I had three kids. No one, no two, three. Your yeah. point is? That you have three. I said that the first time. We did have, like, a break in between them first two years and then destruction. Found out that he was having a, a child. It is very difficult, you know, when the love of your life is going off and having a child, you know, with someone else. Yeah, I, I had to leave at that point, and that's when we went on our massive break for four years, in which, whilst we were separated, he um, had two other kids. How would you like to be together? Is marriage on the cards? He doesn't even know what marriage is. <laughs> what is marriage to you? Marriage is when, you know, two people get together and just live happily ever after. For me, marriage is the legally recognised union between two people. Tell me why you need that. Yeah, tell um, us. Yeah. What separates me from his two baby mothers? We actually have a relationship. OK. We actually do things together, we love each other. Mm -hmm. They're way different. I need everything to be recognised. Is this really love? Because... How can it be if you don't want to legally marry me? I'm not signing no papers. End of. There's no debate. We're not going back and forth about it. It's my way or the highway. If T does not sign those papers, he literally will be waving, like, goodbye. So what's pretty clear is that there are issues of trust on both sides. No, cos I've not given her that many reasons to not trust me. She, on the other hand, there's, there's just always something. There's always another thing, innit? One of my friends flew into London from Atlanta, and I've met him the next day. I've gone to his hotel just to chill. And he was showing me that the girls that he kind of met in the club. He's like, ah, oh, you lot are mutual friends with one of them. So I'm like, mutuals? All right, cool, let me see this girl, innit? And then, lo and behold, is, you know, my girlfriend. So I'm like, all right, that's my girl, you know? He's showing me the conversations. No, there was nothing sexual in the conversations, I must admit, but it was just the fact that he was able to get her contact deals. No, no, sorry. What? He tells this story to anyone who cares to listen. Like, you already know on what basis I gave him my number. And what was that basis? It was on networking basis. She's changed. And me being a loving boyfriend that I am, I printed over, like, 200 business cards. There's no reason why she should be exchanging social media DLs with anybody. Simply, business card, hand it over, done. Her giving my friend um, ex exchanging social media contacts is basically like her sucking his That's how I see it. She might as well suck the She was already halfway there. How can he just compare me giving a number as me sucking like? Bro, you're basically moving like a because that's, that's some type. That's not... A loyal girlfriend will not move like that. Why did you make that correlation? Are you really going to do this? that's how I see it. If you're exchanging contact details with another really guy, knowing that you've got a man, you basically suck this Basically, you basically... And that's what I'm saying, like, it's, it's that she does things and now she wants to get stuff. It's like, bro, why are you getting stuff? Where are you going? Where are you going? See, now she's walking off because she can't take the heat. She knows I'm telling the truth and she's walking off. What are you walking off for? You're really going to disrespect me. What do you mean, dis how do I disrespect you? You're saying how I suck to guys, all of this. You're actually being like, I can't Yeah, lie, but that's no. how... That's 
I never called you a man. I just said, I just said, that's how you move. There's a difference, babe. And you're still saying it? Listen. Why are you following No. Why are you following me if I'm a How are you going to disrespect me? How, how I, are you going to disrespect call, me? I said Please, you man, act I can't. Like... You're still saying it. Who the hell are you talking to? Have you lost your mind? You need to watch your mouth. So you've been on and off for a few years? Pretty much, yeah. I tried to like reach out to her to make it work, but you know she was busy with her multi-millionaire footballer boyfriend. So with I just kind of she, she had a boyfriend who was a footballer. I had no choice but to move on, and I had the time of my life. <laughs> Were you ever in contact while Marie was going out with this footballer? No, I think at that point she hated my guts, so no, I wasn't. He showed me how a woman should be treated. He used to sorry, it's just a bit. Weird, no, because he's here, care. like, what? Obviously, he was looking after you so good that you ended up back with me. But it's yeah, right. well, anyways, we're going to get to that. T was literally dying to get back with me. How did you know that? Because of what he'd done after. I may have um, clocked what building she lived in, and I may have gotten an apartment in the same building. And that was a deliberate move? To cause trouble. It yeah, wasn't which deliberate. Like, it was it a worked. nice area, you know, we had the shops. All lit around it, banks, it was just close to everything, it was a central area, so I just thought, you know, why not? No. Yeah. He saw like the glow up and he was feeling it, like, so he wanted me back. By then I had him blocked on everything, so he knew by physically placing himself in front of me, maybe he knew that it would bring back some feelings or I don't know. And how did that change? We used to talk, we used to like visit each other's like apartments and stuff. Like we didn't used to do anything at the time, we weren't like we never used to sleep with each other, nothing like that. But you know, my ex boyfriend found out obviously that we were like going to each other's apartments and just based on how it looked he ended it because he believes that I was cheating on him right. which I wasn't it was kind of organic it just happened we we're just friends kind of thing and then she just couldn't stay away I wouldn't have regretted it if T was treating me Properly. What do you mean treat you properly? I wouldn't. What does that, like, what does that would, even mean? Like, because, They're going like, man, yeah, like, 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 like I'm an abuser, like, uh, like, like I hit you and sh**. You no, know, we're treating you properly. That. Like, just in, like, like he would, I'm sorry, my ex-boyfriend would never call me a first of all. Right. Like, he doesn't look after me. Whenever I ask T for stuff, it's always, oh, but this, but that, or there's always one excuse or the other. Like, I'm not used to that. I'm used to being treated like a princess. Like, listen, I'm used Denise, to getting everything I want. This girl lives in and some he knows fairy tale that. land. I don't she, live like, in a fairy tale land if I listen, lived her, in real her, life. Her ex boyfriend earned like 400,000 pounds a week or some shit like that. I'm not a footballer. You shouldn't expect that kind of shit from me because I don't, I that's not what I'm on. Expect... You know what I'm on. I've, I've got priorities, I've got three kids. So before you ask me for a Chanel bag, no, you remember, I've got three kids. I'm gonna make sure they're good first. I just wanna be able to turn to my man and say to him, babe, like, I need this, I need that, and him just do it. I really am curious at this point to know if there's a sign on my forehead. Can you see anything? No, can you see anything? Can you? Because I thought there was a sign saying clown. So me and T go on like date nights, you know, during the weekends. And normally he always drives, but for some reason he was like proper insistent on me driving. And I was like, cool, no problem. Let me come and pick you up. But he was like insisting that, no, 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 don't come, don't come. I'll come to you. So of course it's gonna raise suspicions. So I've gone over to his house and I see his car. There's literally scratches all over the car. The sign of the BMW has been taken out. Whoever's done it, the girl who's done it, she literally left her initials. And I'm literally asking this idiot, who the f done this? And he's telling me, oh, I don't know who done it. I don't know who done it. Because I don't know. I know it's a girl that done that to his car. Do you know who done it? I already told you no. How come you didn't mention why you weren't driving your car? I just knew she was just going to have this kind of weird energy towards me. And I didn't have time for that really and truly. If you're genuinely in shock, why did you feel the need to hide it from me? I didn't hide it. Marie, just... if it is a woman, what does, what does that mean to you? He's going to need to tell me why any woman feels the need to do that. What's going on? That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to find answers myself. So you really don't know? If I knew, I would have told you. The car thing is nowhere near as bad as the secret I'm keeping from her. When she finds that out, she's going to go crazy. She's going to go mental. Basically, while we, um, we was on a break, um, 
I am struggling to find words for me to explain this thing to her. And uh, yeah, it's like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, man. While I was on a break, um, basically I was seeing this young lady. Um, <clears throat> and obviously was intimate and well, she's had a baby basically. I don't know, I don't get what you're saying to me, like, what? <sighs> He's obviously joking. Um, no, 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 I'm T. I'm not, I'm not joking. I wish I was, babe. Like, I'm, I know it's the second time it's happening, but... Wait, um, are you being serious? I wish I wasn't. I really, really wish I wasn't. And obviously, I really, really love you, and I want us to, like, basically move forward from this, but... I just had to, to let you know, just, just to tell you this. He's made his bed, he should lay in it. I'm not laying in it with him. Tunde, do you love Marie enough to respectfully let her go? I love her more than enough, but letting her go, I don't think that's an option for me.